this roundtable discussion on the topic digital communication and marketing for efficient government services. So we have been joined by eminent speakers from Ramada Pitti and uh, Google Media. So I extend a very warm welcome to our speaker from <coughs> Ramada Uttar Pradesh, Mr. Ashish Tiwari, Secretary Forest, Environment and Climate Change. I also welcome Mr. Yogesh Kumar, Additional Commissioner, Rural Development and Additional Commissioner Mandrega, Government of Pitti. I welcome Dr. Hiraga, Additional Mission Director, National Health Mission and Additional Project Director, UP Sachs. I welcome Mr. Kumar Vini, Special Secretary IT and Electronics and Managing Director of UP Desco and Shreedon India. I welcome Mr. Kunal Silku, Managing Director of PCDF, Dairy Development Department, Government of Uttar Pradesh. I welcome Mr. R.K. Singh, Joint Director Agriculture, Government of Uttar Pradesh. And last but not the least, I welcome Ruchita Agrawal, Head New Business Sales, Google India. Shortly, we will be joined by a couple of more speakers that are on the day. And uh, now let me introduce you, all of you to the moderator of uh, today's panel discussion, Mr. Muhammad Ujale, Senior Assistant Editor, PT Government, The Economic Times. So basically the idea is to discuss in this roundtable discussion the digital communication and marketing tools to deliver government services efficiently and also the role of digital marketing in taking the government services to the last mile. I hand over to Mr. Mohammad Ujale to take forward the discussion. Over to you, Mr. Ujale. Thank you, Arpit, uh, for a nice introduction of all of us. And uh, as uh, you have gone through some of the questions that my colleagues have uh, already shared, and uh, yeah, today's topic is on uh, digital communication and marketing for efficient government services. And what we have observed over the last two and a half years in the pandemic is that the government reliance on any organization, be it public sector or enterprise, their reliance on technology increased like never before. Uh, so digital transformation agenda per se has accelerated and there is a broader understanding and acceptance now that digital is a way forward. And most of the government department are doing some of the amazing work in different areas. Some of the projects, most of the department are actually running. So today's what we are trying to focus on when we are working within the government department as to how we are using communication tools in order to tell our story to the different stakeholder. It could be B2B, it could be B2C, it could be G2G, any type of. And... Um, there are some departments uh, who have a different level of uh, you know, digital transformation journey in terms of using the digital communication tool in terms of uh, communicating their message to the masses. So I'll begin with uh, Ashish sir. Sir, uh, as I mentioned that the last two years uh, have been challenging for most of the organization and government department is no exception. Uh, so, and uh, we also noticed there is some behavioral changes. So, based on your experience, would you like to share what kind of behavioral changes you have noticed in public service delivery? And if you could add that delivery in terms of communicating your message to the end user. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mohammad Ujale. You are very correct that uh, there has been a behavioral change and uh, a very strong uptake of digital systems for communication and definitely it depends that what kind of target group and what kind of service a particular department or a particular organization offers but definitely if I come from environment, forest and climate change side I can definitely say that there is a behavioral change and uh, the digital communication is very impactful on three fronts. One is like to communicate for particular cause for developing a campaign. Recently you must have 
I think many of you must be aware that uh, UP government launched, see this 1st of July the government of India has banned single use plastic. So UP organized a race campaign, single use plastic. So it was basically a communication campaign only, lot of like digital communication was there. We collaborated with the, you can say, communication expert for that. And believe that if you are doing one activity, but if there is a live telecast of that activity mm -hmm. to the whole group via YouTube or any other communication, then everybody wants that. We, we did a plog run in Lucknow. Plogging is nothing but picking right. the plastics, etc. while jogging. So it's a good exercise. And uh, one actually when picks plastic thrown by somebody else, then he would certainly not throw the plastic next time. So that, see all cities when that was aired and that was telecasted, all the cities in UP, they, were, they started doing plogging. So this is a very powerful way of communicating. So first thing which is very powerful is developing a campaign. If you want to take off something in a big way, like with very short time, if you want to kick off, involve so many people for a particular cause, then probably this kind of a communication is very, very helpful. This we have felt. Secondly, the kind of services we provide, see right. climate change, everybody is affected. Absolutely. So everyone who is alive, including tree or a human being or an insect or a butterfly is our target group. So we have to like communicate to the people, we have to show the data. Right. So if if data is in the public domain, then probably everything is well understood. So the second thing is, if we can come out with, we have tried that up to some extent, putting climate data, some kind of a forecasting also validated once in the, in, in the, in the ways of, using the ways of communication, then it really makes a difference. See, supposing we were discussing with uh, ma'am regarding air quality. Right. If we can communicate to people that next two, three days air quality will be very bad, then these are the do's and don'ts for that. Then probably this kind of communication is very, very impactful. Otherwise, there is no other mean by which we can communicate with them. So the data and the communication behind the data. Right. Third thing is, we are largely into, we are not the implementers. Like people ask us that what is happening in climate change. But I tell you the environment department is not the implementers. Right. Climate change is a water action. So some other department has to do. We work like a think tank for this thing. Right. So we work largely on capacity building side. So the digital communication, the learning management system, which we have developed on a digital platform, the uptake is very, very high. Gone are the days when you can call somebody for three days to Lucknow, give training, etc. So gone are the, those days. Right. Now I must have a digital learning platform. Mm -hmm. If I have a half an hour today, I can log into it, learn it, then I'll log out tomorrow if I have some time. So those kind of things are building up. And you would be really uh, surprised that we have developed a learning management system and uptake is so high that uh, we designed a course on uh, digital course on Miyawaki afforestation. We did just, we did little bit of popularity of that course and we found that the, the, uptake of that particular course is very, very high. Okay. Already some 800, 900 people have uh, got 
the uh, auto generated certificate after mm-hmm. successful completion of that course so that kind of digital platform communication is really very very important absolutely absolutely i'll come back to it again now i'll go to mr yogesh uh, uh, what sir is saying that one is that you need to uh, have a broader understanding as to what you are doing create a very solid campaign around it and then you should have a better visibility as to what kind of people it is hitting is it hitting the right sort of people are you able to communicate well uh, would you like to share based on your experience given the fact that manrega and rural development both touches the masses to a different level altogether what kind of behavioral changes you are witnessing in terms of the adoption of digital uh, as a platform for communicating the government message to the end users okay thank you uh, ujali uh, in uh, rural development we handle almost 3 4 schemes in which uh, we happen to cover more than uh, 3.5 to 4.5 crore people if we like start comparing like pmy is there mm-hmm. pmy is pradhan mantri uh, gramin avas yojana that almost covers 30, 25 lakhs to 35 lakh people then nrlm it almost covers uh, uh, 40 lakhs groups have been made in nrlm and each group is contained of uh, uh, 10 to 11 uh, like ladies uh, women so they are almost covering almost 4 to 5 crore of uh, like women then coming to manrega we touch every year almost 80 lakhs of uh, families and uh, almost 1.1 to 1.2 crore of individual they work with manrega then one program launched by uh, an rlm bc sakhi so in which uh, in each gram panchayat uh, there will be a one uh, business cor- uh, like bank correspondent sakhi right. which will provide some financial services to the local those uh, gram panchayat uh, like families so we uh, we happen to see like interacting with this these masses through uh, digital platforms that is helping us also and it is like limiting our capacity as well because the the beneficiaries of uh, these poor uh, poverty uh, related schemes uh, many a time they don't happen to use those smartphones or maybe those uh, digital marketing tools but what we have seen recently uh, we made a group of uh, uh, like telegram group we were introduced to telegram uh, app so telegram gives a feature of uh, like interacting uh, uh, creating an interaction platform of 2 lakh people it is exceptional mm-hmm. like uh, with respect to the country or maybe a state like up it is exceptional in a way uh, suppose uh, i uh, under me almost 50000 uh, contractual employee work if i need to communicate to them something so what i used to do i used to maximum write a letter then write a message in the whatsapp then maybe uh, create a video and send across the whatsapp and like posting it to the uh, youtube and so we were never able to reach to these 50000 people in a day yes. it used to take a month or two months to reach each one of them so by having a platform like telegram of uh, like 2 lakh people coming together on a single platform by posting something to a gram pradhans there are 58000 gram pradhans in up so what panchayati raj de- de- uh, department has done they have created a, a, a telegram group in which they can post from here certain certain messages so it reaches to everyone at the uh, in a real time basis like these uh, these 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 platforms which have been created uh, uh, through these um, like uh, digital media they have been very very helpful Right. in bc sakhi almost 4 lakh applications came online without using a single paper they were all like shortlisted online only exam was conducted online interview was conducted online everything was online to so the, the 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 state and and the rural population means they have huge potential of absorbing of making use of this online uh, like digital marketing or be it like commerce and all right and i i see Uh, especially with respect to while uh, like interacting with the, like masses is uh, like bucw board is there there, there are officers from that department as well so we four five departments be it animal husbandry be it horticulture then uh, uh, like uh, uh, skill development mission bucw board we touch upon almost 10 crore to 12 crores of uh, the population of the uh, of, of this up and i believe there is no effective platform than doing digital things with a, for a state like up because we are different from haryana and punjab they are smaller states they can communicate things through the, through the phones also we are a, we are a, almost a country and we have 826 blocks 600 uh, tehsils 58000 more than 59000 gram panchayats means um, ward members are 7.5 lakh right. if you see the volume like numbers so they are huge absolutely so without like integrating such a huge territory digitally when well, nothing is possible absolutely 
I completely agree with you and also the fact that if you have the smaller sample size possibly you could have some control on the communication and if you have the sample size which is huge like uh, UP uh, you need to have an independent platform which could give you a kind of platform to reach out to those people give you some visibility as to what kind of communication going who is opening whether it, it has some level of success or not I'll come back to you again I'll go to uh, Dr. Hira Lal. Uh, Dr. Lal uh, you take care of national health mission and uh, also the aid society and both of them are a bit active uh, on digital platform especially the aid society there are a lot of message happening and i believe uh, uh, this particular area is all already using digital platform to reach out to the people in terms of the communicating the message creating awareness uh, would you like to share your views or uh, the kind of changes that you are witnessing over the last two and a half year and uh, how actually some of the digital platform in terms of the communication those could be even the paid platform i mean using adsense for example uh, to communicate to the uh, large masses what what behavioral changes are you witnessing actually there are many behavioral changes hmm. but i would like to mention two important behavioral changes one is the increase in Tech adoption. Okay. Tech adoption has increased. And second behavioral change is increase in confidence in technology. If you say anybody that you apply online, there is no hesitation as well. There is no suspicion unlike the past. So these two things have been having the great impact in behavioral change. And in my opinion, there are many more. Facebook, Twitter, there is social media, email, there are Telegram, Instagram. But in my opinion, the most popular is WhatsApp because it is easy to handle, easy to use, and anybody can, irrespective of education level. So in my department, almost all the programs have their separate WhatsApp groups. It doesn't mean that they are not using email and other media, but the popular things is WhatsApp group to communicate, connect, communicate and cooperate. Our motto is to connect like patient and doctors, then communicate, they will discuss and after discussion, they will cooperate with each other in terms of medicine, in terms of any form of cooperation. So connect, communicate and cooperate to meet out these three C together in my opinion, we are using mostly WhatsApp. Uh, sir, I'll come to you, Mr. Vineet. Uh, what Dr. Hilalal is saying is basically the platform which can actually uh, enable you in terms of doing the collaboration. And there are different tools available in the market. Some of them have their own benefits and uh, merits and demerits. We can discuss about that. Uh, what I would like to understand from you, given the fact that uh, you are currently taking care of uh, IT, UPDESCO and all. Uh, from a digital communication, in terms of what your organization is doing, the project that you are doing, which has a large impact of touching the heart of the people, uh, how actually we are communicating? Are we using some neutral platform, a platform which has a huge data set, huge reach and uh, which uh, on which if you give your basis there is a possibility to have a better visibility across different layer of your messaging uh, would you like to share uh, your experience uh, in this regard yeah thanks to Jalid well first of all I would like to say that government basically is a facilitator of services so uh, whenever we have to come out with the services that is going to the citizen and citizen centric services or we have to communicate with the citizen it has to be a two-way platform and that is where uh, IT department some of the services of IT department have definitely come over maybe grievance redressal, maybe feedback mechanism maybe filing procedures maybe application of government visit uh, various services of the government maybe like uh, uh, say umang conglomeration of so many services over there or digi locker whatever the services may be so single sign sign uh, we are heading towards a single sign on concept as of now so many certificates etc are coming over because the services that have to be delivered to the citizen has to be very user friendly on this context i would like to name two two of the services which are uh, being uh, successfully run by IT department and of course the government that uh, have created a major impact one is the cm helpline so CM Helpline is one such platform where you have 
analog or digital or whatever the means of communication be, you can communicate to the government. Right. right? So it be it telephone, be it email, be it mobile, be it an application, whatever comes out to be, it comes out together at the, uh, on a very beautiful platform built by uh, my friend over here, Shalin is also here on IGRS. So it comes over there and it then gets distributed. So in that way, there is a communication channel that is happening and that is happening very beautifully. Next is uh, enablement. When I say digital communication, so uh, a person has to be enabled before he, he actually, he or she actually has to be uh, perfect to that. So government is also allowing or distributing the tablet and smartphone. It is not just distribution. The back end is that they are going to supply the digital content related to employability, related to education and everything over there. Well, I would just like to mention one more thing. Recently, I attended the Digital India Week. And we were very happy that we have done something very good in UPI and something very good in DigiLocker or things like that. And in the first two, three minutes, Honorable Prime Minister came out with five or six more schemes. My Stack, Bhashani, Meri Pechan, Genesis and whatnot. So if I would like to say that the, sp the pace at which we are traveling now is going to be very, very humongous. The concept of, say, going to... Uh, communicate to various uh, regions beyond the geographical boundary of a country and develop a uh, mechanism of uh, uh, what should I say marketing and things like that are going to come over. So in this entire scenario, in this entire scenario, I would like to mention again that enablement of a citizen on terms of digital centric services, the usability, the easiness at which it can be accessed to is very important. And that is what IT department is doing and that is what Government of India also intends to do. Right. Um, now I'll go to Mr. Kunal Silko. Uh, uh, Mr. Kunal, uh, there is broader understanding with the, the speaker who have spoken so far that um, uh, there is a greater focus on digital and digital transformation agenda over the last two and a half years has increased like never before. As Ashish said initially said that uh, uh, if you have a very solid campaign and if you are able to use certain platform are able to reach out to the large uh, masses, uh, then you are able to create a, a right set of passage. Uh, would you like to share uh, what steps, for example, just from your organization perspective, possibly you can bring uh, that experience, uh, uh, how you are harnessing the sum of the behavioral changes that some of the speaker have spoken, uh, how how your organization uh, has been able to utilize those things in order to uh, create a right set of uh, communicating um, message and uh, target those. See, all the speakers have told and uh, there is no debate that now digital is the way forward. Absolutely. Gone are those days when we were depending upon newspapers for reading news and we were dependent on books for getting knowledge. Now, uh, even uh, the newspapers have gone on the e-platform and we just subscribe uh, ET Times of India and we get all the news. We have Kindle and we get all the books on um, our uh, tablets and so on and so forth. So, as far as government is concerned, uh, all our speakers have also told that we think on two lines. The first first mode is about delivering the message. Every department has got a few beneficiaries set. And first of all, we want that, that uh, if we want to tell something to the beneficiaries, our message should go across to the right population. Right. So there are so many tools available. The very common uh, age-old tool was use of televisions. It was also a digital media. But then its reach was also limited radio, television, that, that was there. But now with the coming of new age technologies, we have uh, uh, social media has come up in a very large fashion. So now uh, televisions and uh, radio and these uh, media are much more regulated. But when we go to uh, social media, it's a largely unregulated setup where we have all kinds of, you know, even the right news also comes in. So many rumors also, you know, uh, prop in. And then we have a lot of fan followings, a lot of rumors also spread. So uh, altogether, new space has come in the uh, um, in the form of social media, and then we have other uh, traditional uh, digital tools like which we were telling about, like Telegram groups or what or WhatsApp group, Facebook, and so on and so forth. So, if I talk about dairy perspective, then uh, our uh, department is different in that respect. That uh, uh, PCDF is basically a sort of commercial entity. 
here we don't implement any kind of uh, government uh, program per se. Our role is that we buy milk from uh, our milk farmers, then we process that uh, milk into various milk products in our uh, plants which we own and then we sell to the customers at uh, the market price. So it's just like uh, having a company, right? getting raw material, processing it and then selling it off. So for us it is very important to run any kind of ad campaign, like when you open uh, the television you see a lot of ads coming of different brands. So for us also it is very important to actually market Parag brand. So, but if we, if we go for the television and if you go for the film hall uh, ad, those advertisements are very costly. So in this uh, in this space, social media has actually helped us because it, there we can actually uh, make small uh, ad films and then we can communicate to a lot of people using that. And the second thing, uh, we're talking about behavioral change. The thing has happened, the, another aspect was how citizens communicate to us. Because one is how we communicate to citizens right. and the other is how citizens communicate to us because that is also very important. So the age old thing was like people will go to some offices and then they will you know meet few officers and then they will put up a letter telling about some complaints and then it will be handled. So what Vinit ji was telling that now we have this IGRS complaint redressal mechanisms. So now a citizen is enabled to directly put up his complaint online and then you know, the complaint reaches to corresponding uh, officers and then they solve it and he also gets the message that the problem has been solved. If we talk about Parag Dairy, so here we uh, started a Parag Dairy portal. So it is a very uh, simple e-commerce portal wherein we said that because uh, when COVID happened uh, two years ago, so that was a time when lockdown happened. But if we talk about milk industry, milk is such a product which is produced every day. Right. The uh, uh, cow will give milk every day and that milk will be wasted if you will not utilize it. But when the lockdown happened, it was very difficult because nobody was moving around, the private firms were not coming, they were not buying the milk. On the other hand, uh, the cu customers were actually facing difficulty of getting milk. So as you remember, must be remembering, uh, Honorable CM Sir uh, especially allowed sale of milk to happen. And then we had uh, specific vehicles running across various colonies and then mm -hmm. distributing milk. So at that time, you know, the, the digital platform came in. Because uh, before that, the government was not having any kind of e-commerce platform okay. for actually selling its own product. There are so many other uh, platforms. But then Parag Dairy platform came in and in that uh, platform, a citizen can actually order any kind of uh, milk and milk product, uh, be it milk, be it uh, uh, paneer, be it uh, ghee, be it uh, any milk product right. which Parag uh, makes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it will be delivered to your doorstep the very next day. So it was a form of communication that hmm. the citizen was communicating to us through that e-commerce portal and he was also giving us money through the uh, payment portal right. and then we were supplying the uh, uh, goods. And we were not the only ones, like Gyan, Gyan right. started, so many other uh, small players also started this kind of thing. So this was a behavioral change which happened and even when now the COVID is over, now people are preferring to remain on that platform because it is more easy. Absolutely. The earlier system was, you know, you will go to some kind of booth and you will get, get milk. But now when they have actually uh, uh, understood this kind of thing that they can uh, order the thing online and it will come to their doorstep the next day. So now even after the COVID is over, this change in behavior has set in. Right. Similarly, if I talk about the office processes, Zoom platform, uh, hardly any uh, government officer was actually knowing about Zoom or VC, con VC software. What we used to know was that we, will, we have a VC room in NIC and if a VC has to be connected, we will go there. It was only when COVID happened and lockdown happened that many of the people actually started doing uh, meetings and conferences on uh, Zoom and uh, uh, another uh, other uh, like uh, Cisco, Webex, uh, there is uh, uh, Meet and so many platforms are there. So those platforms came in big fashion. Many of them, um, uh, budding companies also became very big. So now even with, uh, now COVID is no longer a, that big a thread, still uh, now I hardly see any kind of physical meetings happening. In fact, I'm very happy that this meeting is happening in, in physical mode. Otherwise, now most of the meetings are in VC mode only. So right. this is one behavior change mm -hmm. which has permanently set in. Absolutely. So just to yeah. conclude, see, any kind of digital intervention which will make our life more easy. Like uh, before this mobile phone, we used to have that landline phone. And after right. five, five o'clock when people used to go back home, he was effectively on leave. Right. Now with this uh, little devil in our hand, <laughs> we are 24 plus 7 in, in the service. 
so when these kind of disruptive technologies come in mm-hmm. they change our behavior for all times absolutely and so covid was a very disruptive um, thing which happened and it has actually enhanced the adoption of digital technologies and now even you know no, not so well off families not mm-hmm. so literate families also like a person who comes to my home for uh, house cleaning he also has a smartphone and he also has this whatsapp and he also has his facebook profile and he does all those things it was unimaginable 10 years ago right when we were actually talking about uh, making the people not even uh, not having proper literacy it was unimaginable that you know these kind of people will also have facebook account and they will have all those posts and all those so this tremendous change has happened in past 10 years and more so in past 2 years right. and now any government initiative if it has to succeed it has to base its implementation on digital platforms be it the communication of message right. or be it the receiving of uh, right. feedback or uh, right. things from the right. citizen uh, uh, side thank you so much uh, uh, ruchita i'll come to you uh, he mentioned a very important thing which is around um, uh, behavioral changes in terms of as to how the government is reaching to the citizen and how the g- citizens are uh, coming to the g- so a kind of omni channel uh, you know p- platform used by both the parties to uh, communicate communicate to each other uh, and there is a broader understanding within the speaker that the digital transformation agenda of the last um, uh, during the pandemic has increased like never before and then there are some behavioral changes based on that um, would you like to share based on especially your organization um, view Uh, as to how you are harnessing uh, this evolving citizen behavior and further if you could also uh, shed some lights on um, uh, what kind of long term behavior uh, you look at it is it going to be long term is it short term how if you could share your piece yeah thank you jada for that and uh, thank you for all the speakers for uh, sharing your perspective it's been very enlightening for me to hear your own experiences with the citizens uh, it's not very different from what we've been experiencing as well you know when we are working uh, and you know obviously we work a lot more uh, with the private organizations but you know it's only recently that you know government departments and multiple government departments are talking to us as well in terms of communications so i'll give you some uh, in, you know very interesting uh, behavioral changes that we believe are here to stay uh, you know and and what is fostering that so one you know the biggest thing that i think is fostering is actually there are there are broadly four things because of which these changes are happening one is access i think the fact that today there are almost 70 crore indians which is more than 50% uh, that have access to the internet of which 60 crore have access to a smartphone it may not be the most sophisticated smartphone but you know people have access to the smartphone so i think the access has really changed and this is something that hasn't changed just in the last two years so pandemic has had a role to accelerate it but it's a trend that's been going on for a long period of time and we think that by 2025 almost uh, 110 crore people in india will be on the internet the interesting impact of pandemic is that more than 50% of the 70 crore that have come to the internet have come from the rural india and that is the shift that we've seen in the last two years earlier it was a very urban phenomena you know it was we used to call it the 3m right we used to call it the metro phenomena the mail phenomena and uh, you know we were and it was of course the mobile phenomena right that's clearly where india has taken the leap uh, you know we did our, our citizens haven't gone to internet with desktops or laptops they've gone to the internet because of mobile the trend that we now call is actually the three v's which is video first uh, voice first and vernacular and i think that has changed dramatically in the last two years you know the amount of vernacular content that's the second point that i was talking about you know so access has been there and it's here to stay the second is the content now in the last two years we've actually seen people come to digital sources for information education and entertainment you know so information is something that clearly government has a big role to play and you know as uh, vinit ji also said that you know clearly uh, government is there to facilitate the services right uh, and communication and information is one such trend so clearly the government has taken a lot of uh, active role in disseminating the right information whether it was about covid whether it was about vaccination whether it's about many other schemes um so that's i think uh, one one in, you know for education uh, again i think uh, you know i think abhishek ashish ji spoke about the education right you've been really using digital media to educate disseminate trainings etc so that's the other trend that we are seeing that you know there is a lot of 
itself, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of content creators who are creating education around topics that the citizens care about and, you know, uh, individuals care about. Uh, and the third is, of course, entertainment. I think that is something that, you know, we all know. Today, on an average, uh, an Indian spends about six hours on their mobile phone on the internet of which we've done our own study and we see that 67 minutes of that uh, six hours is actually spent on YouTube. And that's really something that, you know, is increasing very, very rapidly and, and is, you know, we've not seen any change or the consumption to go back before the COVID times. So that's the second one, uh, you know, so access has changed, has improved content, uh, is available, is getting added. There is almost about 100 hours of content that's uploaded on YouTube per minute. And, uh, and that's the power of knowledge and that's the power of information. Uh, the third thing is, and I think uh, Kunal uh, ji spoke about it a little bit, that, you know, it's clearly a democratic medium. You know, earlier, if there was some space that you wanted on an out-of-home hoarding, or you wanted a front page on a, on a print media, or if you wanted prime time slot, there was only limited inventory that was available. And that is something that, you know, only the big... Uh, brands or big organizations that could afford. Now, digital has actually democratized that. You know, you don't need to be buying for that same space and paying a higher price for that, right? You can choose the audience that you want to talk to, right? Uh, so if Kunal is looking for people who are going to be buying dairy, he can only, you know, put his uh, ad and placement for that. You know, if, if there is uh, something with regards Mrega or, you know, the, the Jivika schemes that are there, that can only be catered for that rural audience, etc. So I think that is the big power of digital that, you know, and that's the third trend that it has become a very, very democratic medium. And because it's easy to use, people find it much easier to adapt and, you know, get online and, you know, use it very effectively for them. The fourth one is, again, uh, I think there, there is uh, early experience with this, uh, you know, is the cost efficiency. And I think, Kunalji, you also spoke about it, right? You've experienced it to be cost effective. So one, of course, it's the whole cost efficiency because you're really spending the money on the communication that you want to do to the audience that you want to do. Uh, but also it's the reach and the frequency, right? You can reach out to, at one point of time, as let's say any of the departments in UP, you can reach out to the 5.5 crore citizens of UP through one medium. Now, how many other mediums can boast of that? Digital is the medium that can really boast of that reach. And it can also get you the frequency. Because if you were to put a ad in a prime time slot, uh, every time you want to show up that ad, it's going to cost you. Every time you want to buy a front page space, you will have to pay for it. And that newspaper will go in the Raddi Valaika, you know, this thing queue and you will never see that ad again, right? So, so the cost efficiency is not just from a pricing and affordability point of view, but also the frequency at which your message can show up to the citizens every now and then. So clearly those are the advantages uh, because of which we are now increasingly seeing uh, government departments embrace digital as a medium. You know, earlier it was really the private corporations that were doing it. Uh, and I have to actually, you know, appreciate and acknowledge uh, perhaps the tourism departments in most states. Right. Uh, we've been working with tourism departments in multiple states, you know, whether it's, um, you know, Assam, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Odisha, West Bengal, many, many states, tourism departments are the first departments that have actually adopted digital much before COVID. Uh, they have their own uh, channels where they put content and, you know, that gets a lot of traffic. But increasingly, as is obvious from the esteemed panel uh, today, I think um, most departments in government are now very uh, open to the idea of leveraging digital because of the power of digital and the advantages that digital brings to it. And, uh, you know, Yogeshi, you spoke about it, right? That ability to reach out to 2 lakh people in one go uh, makes it so much easier as a government bureaucrat, right? Because all of you have such a busy job, right? You're taking care of 5.5 crore people and for your respective department. So there is a lot of that uh, responsibility that lies on your shoulder. So digital definitely is being seen as a enabler and uh, we feel uh, very positive uh, that you know going forward we will see a lot more such uh, active engagement and uh, take up from the departments right right i'll go to now mr rk singh uh, deputy director from agriculture uh, uh, right and 
ये सब जो है ऑनलाइन डीलिंग होती है और फार्मर्स का सिलेक्शन जो है ऑनलाइन है सपोज जैसे अभी रिसेंटली हम लोगों ने 10000 सोलर पंप जो है थ्रू न्यूज़पेपर कंप्लीट किया कि हमारा पोर्टल जो खुल गया है अब आप लोग उस पे अप्लाई करेंगे 10000 का टारगेट था हम लोगों के यहां 19000 सोलर पंप बुक हो गया और टोकन जनरेट हो गया मेरा ये कहना है कि चूँकि फार्मर्स अभी उतना अवेयर नहीं होता है तो हमको जो है फार्मर्स फेयर है मेले लगाने पड़ते हैं और उसमें उनको हम कम्युनिकेट करते हैं फार्मर्स को कि ये चीज़ें गवर्नमेंट के पास है और इसको जो है आपको लेना है तो ये ये फॉर्मेलिटीज पूरी करिए यूपी में टू करोड़ फार्मर्स हैं और अभी हम लोगों ने अपने पोर्टल पर टू करोड़ जो है फार्मर्स को रजिस्टर्ड कर लिया है तो जितने भी बेनिफिट्स हैं वो उस पोर्टल के माध्यम से फार्मर्स को मिलते हैं अभी रिसेंटली जो है यूपी में रेन जो है लगभग फोर्टी परसेंट के लगभग रेन हुई है यूपी में जो खरीफ के लिए है तो उसमें फार्मर्स को हम लोगों ने एडवाइजरी एडवाइजरी दिया कि आप जो है पैडी का कल्टीवेशन की जगह मूंग पल्सेज है मूंग है उड़द है ये सब करिए तो हम लोगों ने अपना एक व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप जैसे हीरा सर बता रहे थे कि व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बना रखा है हमारे पास ब्लॉक लेवल के वर्कर हैं और यूपी में एट हंड्रेड हैं और उसमें हमारी एक स्कीम चलती है आत्मा योजना एकल्चर टेक्नोलॉजी मैनेजमेंट एजेंसी तो उसमें जो है हम लोगों ने लगभग 31 वन लैक्स फार्मर्स को व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बना करके कोई भी मैसेज होता है वो हम कम्युनिकेट करते हैं तो ये हमारा व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप जो है काफ़ी सशक्त मीडिया है और रिसेंटली अभी दो साल से जो कोविड चल रहा था उसमें हम लोग जो है खरीफ रवि जायद अभियान चलता है तो क्राप वाइज सीजन होते हैं उसमें तो हम लोग एडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी साहब रे साहब चीफ मिनिस्टर साहब साहब वर्चुअल मीटिंग करते थे और उसको जो है यूट्यूब पे फार्मर्स को कनेक्शन देते थे और उससे कम से कम लगभग साठ पैंसठ लाख फार्मर्स जो है हम लोगों से जुड़ जाता था तो ये हमारा जो है कम्युनिकेशन का सिस्टम है कल्चर डिपार्टमेंट राइट राइट और फार्मर्स वगैरह जो है काफ़ी अवेयर भी हो गए हैं इससे जो है और ज़्यादा ज़्यादा बेनिफिट जो है कल्चर डिपार्टमेंट से ले रहे हैं राइट सो बिफोर आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट राउंड ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन वी आर ऑल्सो ज्वाइन बाई फ्यू पीपल सो आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस ईच वन ऑफ दैम वी आर ज्वाइन बाई मिस्टर योगेश कुमार डायरेक्टर कमर्शियल फॉर मंदांचल विद्युत वितरण निगम लिमिटेड एंड वी आर ऑल्सो ज्वाइन बाई मिसर मिसर सैले श्रीवास्तव सीनियर टेक्निकल डायरेक्टर फॉर नेशनल इन्फॉर्मेटिक सेंटर एन आई सी एंड मिसर दीपक शर्मा वाइस चेयरमैन कंप्यूटर सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया if i am missing somebody you can introduce yourself and uh, we are also joined by uh, uh, shrimati bharti yogesh garg commissioner sale tax uh, government of uttar pradesh additional commissioner sale tax right so um, i'll come to you sir uh, once again uh, so far we have spoken as to how you know the digital transformation agenda for various government department has increased also as to why we need to focus on the communication part uh, uh, but uh, now i would like you to focus on a slightly different thing which is uh, when a citizen is coming to you when you are communicating to the citizen there are lot of thing which is around the experience what kind of experience you are offering to the citizen what can for example in the enterprise world we have cx customer experience similarly in the government uh, sphere there is now broader understanding generating which is called the government ex- gov- uh, governance experience or a government experience uh, uh, and that also enable government department to build trust in the project they are doing the technology they are actually implementing uh, so can you share uh, maybe based on your experience um, as to how some of the digital platform in terms of the communication platform could be used to enhance uh, uh, citizen experience with the government building trust and security yeah actually we like as a environment department our basic duties are threefold one is there are number of citizen services like if somebody wants to establish a factory he has to come to us for permissions etc you must be aware that up government is having a very state of art nivesh mitra portal and all the services related to nivesh or investment are integrated in that portal and uh, there is a citizen charter also 
like I am not repeating here ease of doing uh, principles, but definitely the government is very keen on ease of doing, making systems end to end computerized without human interface. We have gone a step ahead of Nivesh Mitra portal. We have put all our file tracking system in public domain. Supposing somebody has applied to our department pollution control board, then he can track his file. The tracking of file is in public domain. We have done a kind of a deemed approval clause if a particular kind of permission is not done in say 15 working days, then it will be a deemed kind of approval. And there is also a feedback mechanism into it. There is a grievance portal where the kind of experience which they are getting out of our services, that grievance has to be registered and that grievance has to be resolved. So I am very happy to tell you that our department, the grievance redressal satisfaction hovers around 70, 80, 90 percent since last one year. So I just cited example of one service side where we are heavily on taking feedback, improving our systems. Secondly, we have a very good practice of taking feedbacks, doing corrections, etc. on all kinds of capacity building modules which we are hosting online. And in fact, I am very open to say that it is the feedback which, which makes the uptake, which improves the uptake of your service or capacity building exercise. We designed one course with the help of National Productivity Council. Then we hosted that course in our learning management system. And you won't believe out of feedback of two, three rounds, the course structure changed altogether. So this is a kind of power of, you can say feedback and power of taking responses from the government. The only thing is, we need to be very open to that. Like government departments have to be very open on that. The feedback should also be placed on public domain. Then only the responsibility will be there to resolve that. Like very state of art, very transparent kind of IGRS system has been developed by state of Uttar Pradesh. Similarly, we are also, we are now, you must be aware of a Samir app. I think everybody who is in NCR knows what, what Samir app is. This application is a, a kind of air pollution grievance portal. And in Samir app, the grievance is not finished unless the person who is having grievance is satisfied. Or you have a digital evidence for that. If suppose somebody has complained that there is a construction material drying on the road which is generating air pollution, then the person must have a digital evidence that this geotagged location, this thing has been removed. Right. So that kind of systems we are working and in fact, it is really very helpful like there is an idea of crowdsourcing crowdsourcing of you can you can have a modeling system like if suppose I want to predict on the basis of one modeling that how the air will be air quality will be changing for the past six seven days then that model is basically a mathematical model right. of course we are having some weather and environmental factors overlaid into it, the wind direction and what not. But what kind of emission sources we are having in a large city, if we crowdsource that and merge it with that model, it has been done. Like this is one of the best global practice 
so if we merge all those crowdsource information into that model that model will accuracy of that modeling will increase very high so in this way actually this is the way forward actually since mm. the pollution sources are very high once we mapped the pollution sources of lucknow out of 301 mobile app of a smart city platform we found that the dispersed sources are around 20000 in lucknow so can i expect to visit every source physically and uh, and 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 have an idea that what kind of pollution sources i am having but if you crowd source it i think the situ- information will automatically come to you and you can better utilize it and the person who has actually sourced it would actually give you an evidence whether the ac- corrective action has been taken or not absolutely absolutely uh we have uh, 15 minute uh, with us so i request uh, each one of you to make your answer a bit short maybe two and a half minute maximum i'll come to you mr yogesh uh, uh your views especially on using digital communication and marketing tools for uh, improving citizen experience uh, especially those citizen who are actually reaching out to your department for a particular cause and as earlier uh, mr kunal mentioned uh there is a, a use of a kind of omni channel environment where in somebody is coming from mobile somebody come from coming from some app somebody using uh, maybe an ivr uh, so if you could share your views on that actually uh, again it's a, it's a important uh, uh, i should say crucial uh, thing if we can uh, create a such a interactive platform on which uh, all our stakeholders can connect with each other they can connect with the government and the people who are going to dispose their grievances they can also give some their feedback or maybe their the disposal uh, reports okay, this is how we have uh, like dispose this grievance uh, but what i have seen uh, there is a limitation of uh, how do we create the platform how interactive and how uh, trustworthy transparent the platform is uh, there have been cases like uh, uh, suppose in a particular case of uh, encroachment removal uh, some report has to be filled so what what will happen there will be five pages of report six pages of 10 pages of report which will be uploaded on a platform then uh, the operative part will be written somewhere in between the towards the last or somewhere you have to read the entire 10 page to find out what what has what has been sent then it becomes difficult for the uh, for the the person who lost the complaint uh, to figure out okay, what these guys have written they they'll keep uh, raising re-raising their grievances So what I have seen, uh, uh, the tricks of the government uh, of uh, like dep- uh, employees at the grassroots level, those tricks have to be uh, cracked down by a intelligent uh, uh, application of mind, and uh, by uh, we have certain people who who uh, like make apps and who make uh, like web pages also for us. So we have seen uh, the limitation of their ability also in making the apps more user friendly. In most of the apps, what we have been watching. they go for uh, like uh, uh, installing reinstalling new versions are being launched every 3 days 4 days maybe some technological problems are there and those can be resolved very well, very easily so uh, i am absolutely hopeful because uh, we uh, up uh, is not a smaller state uh, like uh, uh, maybe manipur sikkim or punjab or haryana we are a bigger state and such a vast territory such a vast uh, populace cannot be satisfied there cannot be catered without a, a effective a transparent a trustworthy platform of uh, it and uh, uh, the it people here in up and, and administrator who are the implementers of the schemes they have to work in a very very close uh, like interaction and um, uh, i believe uh, we can definitely uh, utilize and leverage these uh, these the newly created platforms Thank absolutely uh, dr hiralal uh, as uh, mr yogesh is talking about the platform and what we also observed that integrated platform that gives visibility across uh, the entire department uh, seems to have played a very important role during the pandemic uh, uh, would you like to share your views on leveraging digital uh, communication and innovative marketing tools especially for reaching out to citizen for better government outreach and also it uh, some way directly or indirectly uh, you know uh, raise uh, enhance the citizen experience uh, while uh, the citizen is coming to the uh, to the government okay to improve the citizen experience i think there are three important factors first is speed 
that's why we are going from 3g to 4g 4g to 5g to improve the speed second factor is cost how we are going to reduce cost further okay and third factor is response time quick response we need to obtain these three factors to improve the experience some operative and some technical inputs are required so on these three fronts we are working one more important once i was attending a webinar in indian conditions that experience which i am going to tell generally we do not discuss on the in the webinars but i have heard that and i would like to share here that in indian conditions वो कहते हैं भेड़ चाल वाला एडॉप्शन टेक्नोलॉजी का नहीं होना चाहिए वी नीड टू एडॉप्ट इनेबलिंग टेक्नोलॉजी रादर देन रिप्लेसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इन इंडियन कंडीशन इफ वी विल एडॉप्ट इनेबलिंग टेक्नोलॉजी देन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू इंक्रीज द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सो दिस कासन मस्ट बी देयर वाइल इंक्रीजिंग द स्पेस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स इन डिफरेंट प्रोग्राम्स दैट आई हैव टू से विनी सर इफ यू कुड एड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट गिवन द फैक्ट दैट टू 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 हैव अ सक्सेसफुल कैंपेन और सक्सेसफुल प्रोजेक्ट इट्स रियली रिक्वायर्ड दैट यू हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ योर डेटा what exactly you want to do what kind of people you want to reach out what are those group set what are those sample size uh, that means you need to have an integrated platform and if you have that and if you have a right set of communication uh, you know strategy in place uh, you are able to first communicate to the people in a right manner and that actually somehow pep up the experience of the people uh, can you share from a tech perspective uh, surely i would like to uh, share with you the digi shakti app that is uh, that has been developed by up desco more than uh, 16000 17000 institutions more than 38 40 lakh students uh, 37 universities 10 departments they all communicating with each other all paperless all in each and every issue over there it is not just the communication and sharing of the information it is actual communication where we actually get a feedback we deliver the digital content we have a two way communication between the student to amongst the uh, teachers among the uh, groups so there is a subset of it's just uh, just not a, a simple mesh of a things it is just a subset of so many things that is coming into each each and everything beyond what you had just said because i was there i was very keen participating uh, in the discussion so i would just like to take a cue from what ruchita had to say about the vernacular content that is something that is going to stay each and every department is creating their own digital content the government of india has already rolled out bhashani bhasha dan mahadan with the concept of that that we can just get into this communication level of activities and uh, as sir was saying dr hiralal sir was saying speed which is going to be a very very big issue over here and that is why we are into the data center perspective in policy part or we are also thinking of h data centers and as uh, he also mentioned about enabling technology one one of my friend over here from power corporation is going to mention that chatbots so chatbots and artificial intelligence machine learning things like that when they communicate into software as a service and when we actually feel the government is really at the tip of our fingertips so that is the level of digital communication that we all aim at and that is what we are going to enable of course of course things are not going to go off but ultimately this is what is going to stay right uh, mr kunal if you could add your views especially on the governance experience part and using the digital communication <coughs> and marketing tools and technology as we see when we see about government and when we talk about government service delivery then uh, two things come to my mind immediately one is citizen charter because now when uh, we have moved to digital technologies we need to do business process reengineering the way which we were delivering uh, services in a age old fashion we just simply can't replicate it in the digital media we need to have all together different uh, processes designed and those process should be more efficient should be more fast like now earlier what used to happen we used to have a specific approvals for every kind of licenses 
now with the coming of digital technology there are a lot of uh, licenses which are like auto generated you actually don't need to uh, some person doesn't need to actually sign that uh, thing when you meet the requisite criteria it is auto generated so such kind of business process reengineering is al always going to improve the citizens experience uh, taking out print out of khatoni used to be a very big challenge P person used to visit everybody takes print office khatoni for various reasons people used to visit to tehsil and then apply uh, give 10 rupees and then apply and then used to get it maybe uh, same day or next day you can used to have to uh, go to there now with the uh, khatoni coming online you simply go to the website and you can take a print out mm -hmm. so the thing is all the departments are trying to put up their data put up their services and put up the experience as far as possible on the digital front that the corresponding citizen or the beneficiary can himself make use of that service he does not need to communicate to any government department we actually want to have a single window kind of setup made in which the citizen just applies for a service uh, in the same concept this cscs have come up you go to a csc center you apply for any kind of service you are not bothered that where that csc how that service is being delivered from the csc it will go to the corresponding department website the officers will do their work and then you will get the service directly from the csc so all this kind of new models which have come up they have definitely improved um, the citizens experience of how they deal with the government it is not complete still for lot of things you have to physically approach uh, the government department there are issues of delays there are other kind of issues but with the advent of technology with the adoption of this citizen charter uh, fundamentals and with the uh, doing of business process reengineering we have tried to change this uh, uh, earlier perception of government i'll just uh, take one minute to uh, tell you about one of the initiative which i did in my last assignment as director of employment we had a application called seva mitra uh, launched seva mitra uh, just to have a quick understand it's more like a urban clap thing wherein you have lot many vendors who are impaneled there urban clap is one company what seva mitra it is a marketplace of urban clap so you have so many companies uh, impaneled there and if you want to avail any kind of service a citizen you just need to approach that uh, seva mitra portal you want to have a electrician called you simply go and browse lucknow then browse which kind of electrician you want you will get electrician you get three four companies coming with they have the, uh, their own ratings they are costing you choose a company based on either on rating or on the uh, lowest cost basis and then the person will come but we just not uh, we did not only give this platform in the digital form we also made a call center and that call center 155230 it was a toll free number which was uh, uh, given you simply call on this toll free number a person who is not tech enabled Th that person can also simply call on this number from his mobile phone and the, his call will go to the call center and the call center person will understand his requirement and he will send a um, uh, corresponding professional to his home so both a person who is enabled on the digital platform he has a app and website he can book the service using app and website and a person who is not uh, tech enabled he can simply use his uh, simple basic phone and call the call center and get the service booked so we have used both the medias the digital as well as the plain uh, phone and ensure that this delivery of service happens obviously on the uh, other side we have suppliers also because that is they are also customer is like c to c our customers are only the beneficiaries and uh, we have startups and we have uh, these kind of firms who are also providing the services so they have also been enabled on the on the tech platform because what used to happen a small player even though he is a very good electrician he has a firm of maybe five electricians he does not have the capacity to have a digital platform or a call center urban clap might do it but not a not a small firm but now with our enabling he just has to plug into our system just bring in his professionals and rest we are giving him platform services we are giving him call center services we are giving him feedback mechanisms so we have enabled the startup right. also so it's a very nice platform and it is available in uh, lucknow i uh, request all of you to also use it because you will find lot of services uh, available in lucknow and in whole, all of all of up so we have this running in the entire state of up so you, you can use this platform absolutely thank you so much wonderful uh, before i go to ruchita i'll take a couple of uh, questions from uh, one or two uh, uh, people who joined a bit late uh, so i'll go to now uh, uh, bharti ma'am uh, ma'am what we uh, notice with the gst especially majority of things are online and uh, we see lot of digital communication happening via different media sources um, 
and most of you can see actually uh, GST ad on different platform. Uh, would you like to share your experience, uh, especially as to how you how uh, uh, especially on the GST part on sale tax part, how uh, digital platform is being used in order to reach out to the taxpayers? Hello, everyone. GST एक साथ सत्रह से लागू हुआ था और इस हंड्रेड परसेंट डिजिटल मोड में काम कर रहा है इसमें गवर्नमेंट ने ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस की मेन उनका फोकस ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस की वजह से है जो हमारे जितने भी डीलर्स हैं उनको निर्बाध रूप से उनका व्यापार हो सके इसलिए ई इनवाइसिंग पोर्टल शुरू किया 20 करोड़ से ऊपर वाले 20 करोड़ से ऊपर वाले जितने डीलर हैं ई इनवाइसिस हैं जैसे आई पोर्टल है जिसकी भी कोई कंप्लेंट है कोई शिकायत है वो आई जी पर कंप्लेंट डालता है और हमको विद इन थर्टी डेज उसका डिस्पोजल करना होता है तो सबसे ज़्यादा डिजिटल होने के कारण हमारा जो जीएसटी का पन, आ, बेस था डीलर्स का वो केवल वैट के समय आठ लाख था जो जीएसटी में सेवनटीन टू एटीन लैक्स के बीच में पहुंच चुका है और जितना क्योंकि जानकारी का अभाव की वजह से लोग जुड़ने में और उसमें परेशानी महसूस करते हैं और जैसे इन और भी वक्ताओं ने कहा इम्प्रूव द स्पीड जो भी डिजिटल डिजिटल डिजिटाइजेशन हो रहा है पर उसमें स्पीड का भी इशू आ जाता है कई बार पर धीरे धीरे सिस्टम वर्क कर रहा है और ये जितना डिजिटल डिजिटाइजेशन होगा उतना ही हमारी सोसाइटी के लिए वर्क करने में उसको सहूलियत होगी और आगे आगे बिजनेस में वो अपना इम्प्रूव कर सकेगा जितनी हर्डल कम होती हैं उतना ही आदमी प्रोग्रेस करता है तो इसी लिए हमारा जो जीएसटी है वो जितना आगे बढ़ेगा उसी हिसाब से हमें डिजिटल में आगे बढ़ने में मदद मिलेगी absolutely i think you said very important thing that I, uh, while the vat was there it was 8 lakh but it has doubled i mean 17 to 18 lakh so just imagine when you use the digital platform and you somehow ask people to register voluntary for meeting the compliance so technology enable platform could give you huge number shalaji would you like to share your experience especially from nic perspective given the fact that nic is somehow the a uh, common organization that works across all the department mm -hmm. and they are actually digital in terms of the project also digital in terms of the marketing and communication becomes quite important so if you could share your view sir definitely uh, thank you for inviting inviting me yes really mai kafi der se sab on on eminent speakers ki baat sun raha hu aur more or less har jagah nic hai ig rs ki aap baat karte hain to bhi nic hai commercial desk ki madam baat karti hain wahan bhi nic hai so nic is doing this uh, such type of innovations right not from today but from last decades kuch applications ki main baat karunga jaise ki abhi khatauni ki baat kari ek e district platform hai hamare kumar vidhi sahab baithe hue hain it ke kuch sachiv e district platform mein hum 271 services aaj de rahe hain through our 1.7 lakh csc's plus online app e sathi mobile app ke through all inbuilt feedback mechanisms are there because बिना फीडबैक के बिना उसके जो जो हम सर्विस दे रहे हैं क्या उसको वास्तव में मिल रही है ये जानना बहुत ज़रूरी है तो जैसे आपने खतौनी का जिक्र किया फीडबैक ही था कि खतौनी टाइम लेता है हम लोगों ने उसको डिस्टाइज करा के और आज ऑनलाइन दे रहे हैं नॉट ओनली खतौनी बट देर आर सो मैनी सर्विसेज जो कि आज हम हम लोग उसको ओ बोलते हैं ओवर द काउंटर सर्विस हम जैसे लर्निंग लाइसेंस की बात करते हैं उसके लिए आपको घर बैठे मिल रहा है ट्रांसपोर्ट में आर की बात करते हैं जो अगर आपको डुप्लीकेट आर लेनी है या पत्रिश करना है आपको जाने की जरूरत नहीं है तो यस वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द डेट डायरेक्शन जिसकी बात कही कि हम जितनी सर्विसेज हो सकती हैं ओ टी पे दे सकें तो पहला तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट है जो कि निश्चय ही गवर्नमेंट ऑफ यूपी अलॉन्ग विद एन आई सी वी आर डूइंग सच थिंग्स एंड होपफुली इन द एट द एंड ऑफ दिस ईयर मैनी ऑफ सर्विसेज विल कम ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म गवर्नमेंट ऑलरेडी परवार परवार आई डी पर काम कर रहे हैं हम लोग कि परवार आई डी मिल जाएगी तो बहुत सारी सर्विसेज हम लोग उसको दे सकेंगे नंबर वन नंबर टू जब डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन की बात करते हैं एन आई सी इज़ संदेश प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ मोस्ट ऑल यू माइट नॉट बी हर्ड 
बट हम व्हाट्सएप की जगह संदेश प्लेटफॉर्म को ला रहे हैं और अभी हम एन आई सी में इनबिल्ड उसको यूज़ कर रहे हैं टेस्टिंग कर रहे हैं बहुत जल्दी इसको गवर्नमेंट में लॉन्च करेंगे तो इट विल रिप्लेस द वो व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ई ऑफिस जैसे फाइलिंग की बात करी ई ऑफिस इज इंटरनल एन आई सी सूट विच इज़ वर्किंग फॉर द ई ऑफिस कम्युनिकेशन सो दिस इज द कि एक बात जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ है यू पी इज डिफरेंट इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट आई एम ऑल्सो लुकिंग ऑफ्टर इलेक्शन आई एम द स्टेट कॉर्डिटर इलेक्शन जब हम इलेक्शन की बात करते हैं तो हमने इलेक्शन में रिफॉर्म्स 2011 में शुरू किए और आज इलेक्शन कहाँ से कहाँ पहुँच गया ऑल फीडबैक वोटर हेल्पलाइन ऐप है सी वी जी लैब जिसकी बात हीरा लाल जी को तो अवार्ड मिला है आई थिंक इफ एम क्लैब ही वॉज पायनियर ऑन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग ऑल ई सी आई एप्लीकेशन तो हम लोगों ने दो हज़ार ग्यारह से इसको शुरू किया और आज हम इस स्टेज पर हैं कि इलेक्शन की सारी चीज़ें आपको हेल्पलाइन ऐप से कैंडिडेट की सब चीज़ें मिल रही हैं जो कि पहले हम लोग को ये भी जानना मुश्किल था कि मेरा नाम वोटर लिस्ट में है भी कि नहीं इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन और अर्ली एट तो इन दिस वे वी आर अप्रोचिंग एंड नाउ आई टी डिपार्टमेंट के मोस्ट ऑफ द इनिशियटिव आई टी डिपार्टमेंट जो हमारे साथ ले रहे हैं हम बहुत जल्द ही इन सब चीज़ों को एक उस स्टेज पर ले जाएंगे ग्रेवेंस की बात करी तो आई जी आर एस के अलावा गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का सी पी ग्राम्स पोर्टल भी चलता है लफ्यू ना अवेलेबल तो अक्रॉस सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट नाउ वी आर ज्वाइनिंग हैंड्स टूगेदर सम प्रोडक्ट्स फ्राम सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड सम प्रोडक्ट फ्राम स्टेट गवर्नमेंट वी आर रीचिंग टूवर्ड्स दैट गोल जिसकी आप बात करते हैं कि मैक्मम सर्विसेज सिटीजन को अपने यहाँ घर बैठे बिना कहीं पर जाए वो ले ले सके दिस इज द अल्टीमेट एम ऑफ द डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन इन मार्केट राइट राइट and uh, i'll go to ruchita ji to two question to you and uh, that will be the last word we'll be finishing this uh, round table discussion uh, can you share uh, any case study or anything that uh, 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 that you can share with us uh, how actually government organization uh, leverage digital platform and marketing tools uh, for communicating or for actually doing their work and what were some of the key challenges if you could tell us and how did actually if you have some experience how actually you were able to overcome number one second i would like to understand because many people focus on the experience part uh, so what we noticed that while ensuring communication and awareness with the citizen uh, are there any specific benefit that we can pinpoint uh, that digital have over the earlier you were mentioning about the print and tv and some of the challenges uh, in terms of inventory that we have uh, uh, are there, is there any benefit of digital over the traditional medium so right. two things if you could, if you could collab and uh, possibly reply yeah Uh, so I'll answer the first question yes, please. first. Uh, so there are I'd mentioned a few state uh, departments that have worked with us, uh, particularly in the tourism uh, department. Uh, in addition to that, there are a few other governments or state governments who've actually worked with us uh, to disseminate information about citizen benefits. Right. You know there are a lot of government benefits that are available to citizens. Uh, in fact, हम पहले बात कर रहे थे कि most of it is available through DBT today. Uh, but कई बारी वो उसका take up limited होता है because hmm. citizen को पता ही नहीं होता है कि ये मेरे पास scheme मैं eligible हूँ इसके लिए. So there are some uh, work that we've done in uh, passing on this information to the citizens with a few governments. Um, the third uh, example is we've actually right now in the process of discussing with a few departments on how uh, you know see in the past what used to happen is a government communication plan with digital and especially with google and our properties used to be uh, very very specific to an objective or linked to a specific event कि अगर कुछ लॉन्च हो रहा है तो एक डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन कर लेते हैं फिर उसके बाद साइलेंस हो जाती है या अगर कुछ एक लेट्स से कोई uh, निवेश समिट हो रहा है तो उसके लिए कम्युनिकेशन कर लेते हैं फिर साइलेंट हो जाता है सो दैट आई थिंक इज नाउ चेंजिंग एंड दैट इज द कॉन्वर्सेशन दैट वी आर नाउ हैविंग विद मेनी गवर्नमेंट सेइंग कि बिकॉज जैसे मैंने आज सुना मैंने इनफैक्ट मैं लिस्ट लिख रही थी कि यूपी में ही इतने सारे इतना अच्छा काम हुआ है सब डिपार्टमेंट्स में यू you नो know, आपका सेवा मित्र है आपका डिजी शक्ति ऐप है आपका ई ऑफिस है आपका ई साथी है आपका संदेश प्लेटफॉर्म आप कर रहे हैं सेल्स टैक्स का है प्रेडी मच आप सबके डिपार्टमेंट में बहुत अच्छा काम हुआ है आई थिंक द लिमिटेशन पर जो अभी हो रहा है शायद सबको नहीं पता एंड uh, उसमें हम लोग काफी मदद करते हैं गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स की एंड करी है इनफैक्ट सिर्फ मेरे पास इंडिया के एग्जांपल्स नहीं है मेरे पास ग्लोबल एग्जांपल्स भी हैं तो हमने ग्लोबली भी गवर्नमेंट्स के साथ काम किया है क्योंकि जब लॉन्च होता है तो उस टाइम पे काफी टेकअप हो जाता है बिकॉज नॉर्मली आप शायद सी या पी या डेप्यूटी सी hmm. या यू नो प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी उद्घाटन करते हैं सो देन यू नो दैट गेट्स नोन बाय एवरी पर उसके बाद शायद उसका डाउनलोड कम हो जाता है अगर ऐप है तो या उसका यूसेज कम हो जाता है सो दैट इज वन एरिया वेर एंड वो चैलेंज है 
एंड वहीं पे आके हम लोग सपोर्ट करते हैं कि आपने इतनी अच्छी प्रॉपर्टीज बनाई हैं सिटीजन के लिए तो आप उसको कंटिन्यूसली कैसे कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हैं ताकि आपका यूजेज और इंगेजमेंट कॉन्स्टेंटली बढ़ता रहे एंड उसमें एक्चुअली गूगल की जितनी भी प्रॉपर्टीज हैं एंड आई नो आप लोगों ने काफी और हमारे पियर्स डिजिटल चैनल्स के बारे में भी बात किया बट मैं उनके बारे में नहीं कहूंगी बट मैं आपको गूगल के सोल्यूशन uh, के बारे में बता सकती हूँ चाहे आप डिस्प्ले ले लीजिए सर्च पे या आप यूट्यूब uh, ले लीजिए यू uh, नो you know, हमारा जो सोल्यूशन है वो आपको हमेशा ही इंक्रीज रिजल्ट दे सकता है वहां पे वो कैपिंग आउट नहीं होता है सो दैट्स वन एक्सपीरियंस टू योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन की वो चैलेंज होता है दूसरा चैलेंज होता है कि आपने प्रचार कर दिया आपने कुछ एक नया ऐप निकाला एंड आपने प्रचार कर दिया सिटीजन ने ले लिया पर अब आपने जैसे इतने सारे एप्स एंड आपकी वेबसाइट्स हैं पर कई बार सिटीजन को नहीं पता लगता कि इसको मैं यूज कैसे करूँ तो ईज ऑफ यूज की भी हमने बात करी हीरालाल जी ने स्पीड की बात करी उसमें कम्युनिकेशन का एक बहुत बड़ा महत्वपूर्ण यू नो रोल होता है कि हम ऐसी कैसी लैंग्वेज में कम्युनिकेट करें कि सिटीजन अपने आप समझ जाए बिकॉज कई बार क्या होता है कि वो हेजिटेट करते हैं कि शायद ये मेरे लिए नहीं है right. क्योंकि मुझे नहीं समझ में आ रहा मैं कैसे यूज करूं या जो लैंग्वेज है वो मैं नहीं समझ पा रहा हूं आपने वर्नाक्यूलर की बात करी सो दैट इज द सेकंड एरिया जहां पे हम इनफैक्ट दैट्स एक्जैक्टली व्हाट मी एंड माय टीम डू वे वी कैन पार्टनर विद ईच ऑफ योर डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड एक्चुअली दैट्स द वर्क दैट वी डू विद मेनी डिपार्टमेंट्स इनकि आपने आपने हमारे साथ काम कर लिया पेड डिजिटल मार्केटिंग में आपने एंगेजमेंट यूजेज सबके लिए बढ़ा लिया पर हम आपको वो कंसल्टेशन या एडवाइजरी भी दे सकते हैं कि आप इसको अगर ऐसे बोलेंगे या आप वीडियो ऐसे शूट करेंगे आप इस लैंग्वेज में बोलेंगे सो देन द टेकअप कैन बी मच इजियर सो दैट्स द सेकंड टाइप ऑफ चैलेंज दैट यू नो वी एक्सपीरियंस कि हाउ डज द सिटीजन अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेल द थर्ड वन कम्स की मेजरमेंट बिकॉज आजकल यू नो गवर्नमेंट में काफी ट्रांसपेरेंसी है काफी ज्यादा रिपोर्टिंग है कि रेजोल्यूशन टाइप की हमने बात करी हमने नंबर्स की बात करी तो डिजिटल एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है शायद इकलौता प्लेटफॉर्म है कम्युनिकेशन का जहां पे आप मेजरमेंट करके आप रिपोर्ट कर सकते हैं तो अगर आपको प्रोग्रेस दिखानी है अपने डिपार्टमेंट के लिए डिजिटल आपको एग्जैक्ट नंबर दे सकता है सो so, अभी आई एम श्योर आप लोग को शायद उस पर भी एफर्ट लगाना पड़ता होगा टू फाइंड आउट कि कैसे मेजर करें कैसे रिपोर्ट करें नाउ दैट इज अ थर्ड एडवांटेज और चैलेंज जिसका हमारे पास सोल्यूशन है फ्रॉम अ डिजिटल परस्पेक्टिव सो दो आर द टॉप थ्री वन अफकोर्स अगर हम डिटेल में जाएंगे तो यू नो इट कुड बिकम अ वेरी लॉन्ग कॉन्वर्सेशन बट दैट्स दैट्स रियली वेर इट इज आई थिंक देर वॉज वन मोर क्वेश्चन आई हैव आस्क यू यू स्पोक ऑन दूज केसेस एंड the last one you have not replied so far that is on um, you know uh, the benefit of digital over the traditional media if you could actually share something yes. on that uh, so benefit is uh, one is jaise maine kaha ki aap digital medium se aap 70 crore indians ko reach out kar sakte hain aap yuki up ki baat karenge to 5.5 crore indians mein se kafi sare internet pe hain aur uh, chahe wo aapke rural mein ho chahe wo aapke district centers mein ho साढ़े पांच अच्छा सॉरी जो गेस्ट में साढ़े पांच करोड़ साढ़े पांच करोड़ फैमिली फैमिली तेईस करोड़ थैंक यू फॉर करेक्टिंग नो थैंक यू फॉर करेक्टिंग तो आई थिंक दैट इज वन सो रीच इज समथिंग जो डिजिटल इज यू नो इज वन मीडियम आप सेम रीच अचीव कर सकते हैं बट आपको मल्टीपल मीडियम में जाना पड़ेगा सो दिस इज वन मीडियम दैट यू नो यू कैन गो टू द सेकेंड इज द फीडबैक लू सभी ने मैंशन किया कि टू वे कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ डिजिटल इज वॉट इज एप्रीशिएटेड बिकॉज फीडबैक लूप इज वॉट कीप्स uh each department uh, innovating and each department being responsive uh, to the evolving needs so i think this that is the power of digital that you can get a feedback loop which is not necessarily there for other mediums it's a one way communication right. in other digital me- uh, in other mediums uh, of communication digital gives you that feedback loop the third was also uh, i think ashish ji ne mentioned kiya tha crowdsourcing uh you know two way mechanism two way communication is about the government sending information to citizens and citizens giving feedback but the third benefit of digital is aap actually citizens ko involve kar sakte hain apne efforts mein and apne initiatives mein and you can get them to contribute right. so that you know there is additional help that is there so i think that's the other uh, advantage the third advantage is ki agar aap kuch cheez test karna chahte hain jaise aapne bola ki aap abhi sandesh platform internally test kar rahe hain so digital allows you to also take a lot of these tests you know and you can run small experiments ki aapko kuch ek communication karna hai ye try karke dekhte hain uska result immediately aa jayega to aap based on the results that are coming in you can pivot 
and you can say, okay, this is working. This is perhaps what can be modified. So those are so the flexibility and agility that a digital platform gives you to test out your communication strategies is very very powerful. Right. The third and the fourth thing is actually what I said in my first uh, answer, which is uh, it's democratic uh, and it's available to everybody equally. And cost efficiency is the other thing, you know, which is the fifth medium. It is very cost effective because you are spending money to speak to the intended audience. Right. It is not, you know, that you're spending money to go to a much wider audience. You are for a dairy scheme, you're going to talk to the specific person for a health scheme. You're going to a specific age bracket for employment. You're going for a specific age bracket. So it's very, very um, uh, the ROI of that is very powerful. Right. So we have completely exhausted our time. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful panelist and sharing your views on digital communication and marketing for efficient government services. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.